Come in, students. Come in, come in. Yes, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Go ahead and find your name. It will be on a name tag on one of the desks. Please feel free to sit down, sit down. Um, <clears throat> while we're waiting for morning announcements, you can put all of your amazingly new school supplies into your little cubbies at the side of your desks. They usually will be on the right hand side. Yes. Um, so go ahead and do that, uh, and then just put your backpack underneath your desk with your with your your legs, and we can get started after morning announcements. For the students who are just now coming in, good morning, good morning. Please find your name on one of the seats and sit down and wait for morning announcements. Thank you. Quiet, please. Good morning, students, and welcome to the first day of school. We hope your summer was absolutely fantastic. For today's announcements, we would like to let you know that after school programming and sports will be announced very, very soon. And tonight and tomorrow night is parent teacher night, so bring your parents back and let them meet your teachers and your classroom mates. For lunch today, we have sub sandwiches, pizza, chicken nuggets, and french fries. So please come and enjoy our lunch ladies amazing food. We are so happy to see all of you guys back on campus and we hope you have a great day. Okay, good morning. Welcome to the first day of school. I hope you guys all had an amazing summer. Um, <clears throat> my name is Bree. You can call me Mrs. Bree or Miss Mason. That's up to you. I will answer to either one. Um, just really quick, I'm going to take attendance. If you hear your name, please say here. Abby. Andrew. Angelica, uh, Bailey, Brent, Brandon, Cameron, Courtney, Glenn, Tammy, Tiara, Taryn, Tony, Sky, Sean, Patrick, Sophia, Holly, Terry, Gabriella, Lily, Nelson, Max, Ashton, 
and Robinson. Perfect. Hi there, everybody. I have a name that's not called. Yes. I did not call your name. Oh my goodness. What is your name, sweetie? Last name? Ah, there you are. You are a transfer student. Okay, you weren't here last year. Okay, great. Well, let me quickly just remove that. All right, I got you. Thank you so much. Anybody else? All right. Well. Good morning, guys. Uh, as I said, welcome to the first day of school. I'll be your teacher. You will be coming to me every morning for the rest of this year. Um, so today, we're not going to do anything too crazy. We are just going to be uh, talking about what a typical day here will look like for you, what to expect, any extra supplies you may need to pick up, maybe you forgot something. Today, we'll be grabbing the textbooks from the library. Um, I do have a few announcements for you guys, so let's just quickly run through those. First things first, this Friday will be picture day for student IDs, so please be sure to be here and to be wearing your best outfits. Those will be given to you Monday morning, give ourselves the weekend to get them printed. You will also be getting your school lunch ID today when you're at the at the cafeteria during lunch um, they will be handing out school IDs again um, for those of you who still have your ID from last year it will still work but there is a fresh new one waiting for you so it's up to you if you want to pick it up for any new students who are just joining us um, please make sure to remember to grab that if you're part of the free lunch program um, also tomorrow they will be having the semester benchmarking tests online. So you guys will be going into study rooms to complete benchmark tests. Some of you will be in here. Some of you guys will go to the library. Some of you guys will go into the hallway on the computers or in the next classrooms. We're gonna have a bunch of different people doing it. You know how every semester you have to take benchmark tests. You kinda know where everyone's at. So if we need to recommend anybody to after school programmings, tutorings, or special resource classes, we can do that. This is kind of our time. Um, if you have an IEP or any other disability is already put into place, me and other teachers around um, have already gotten that piece of paper and you have already been informed with what your schedule is going to be like and I am fully aware. Um, or also these can also help if we recommend summer school based off of grade points and things like that. Um, from a show of hands, how many of you guys were in summer school before you got into this class? Would, how many of you guys were in summer school at the beginning of July? Six of you? Okay, okay, okay. So, you six should be pretty solid with this benchmark test. This is going to be a lot of what you've already learned throughout the summer. Um, those of you who were not, uh, you also learned this within your schooling, but that was having summer school might have been a really nice refresher um so those are some of the announcements we will be having our first assembly i believe wednesday if i'm not mistaken yes wednesday will be our first assembly so after lunch we will just head over to the gymnasium and we will have our first assembly talking about the school and bullying and your expectations here on the school grounds not just only in your classrooms so be sure to be here for that um, basically the rundown of your schedule here with me let me look at my paper so i don't tell you guys wrong you guys will come in i recommend you guys be about five minutes early usually the buses are dropping you off around 8 8 15. i recommend going into the cafeteria picking up some breakfast um coming here no later than 8 25 sit down Pull out any homework that I gave you for, the day, for that day or anything along those lines. Um, so on your desks because I will more than likely be picking them up. Morning announcements will begin at about 
27 morning announcements will begin. Usually they're done by about 8.30. 35 and that's when we'll begin class. We will start off this class actually in working with science. We're just going to do some textbooks work. Some of that textbook work might involve projects, might involve this uh, science fair, um, will involve group work, will involve experiments and a bunch of fun stuff just to kind of get you energized after science. We'll kind of jump into math. Uh, we'll be doing different things along the lines of pre-algebra and algebra, learning about Pythagorean's theorem, some Simpson, Simpson's theorem, um, and other correlations within all of that. Uh, after that, we will go into English. So we're going to have a book of us. We're going to have a book. I'm hoping within the year. We can read up to about 10 to 15 books, um, so that's that's a pretty decent goal. Uh, we'll have papers on them, notes, and we'll be learning about different note styles and different writing styles. And after that, you will go to lunch. Then you'll have a quick recess that you can get some of that energy out. After that, you will come back in here and we'll, we'll begin history. We'll be doing a combination of... Uh, U.S. and world history, so one semester, the yeah, next semester. Um, after that, you guys will be able to enjoy either art or music. Art we'll do here in the classroom. If you would do, if it's a music thing, then you will go down and you will see uh, Miss. Oh, it looks like we have two music teachers this this year. We have. Miss Lee and Miss Maggie. Um, so it looks like they'll be alternating. Uh, I think they're doing this in sections. So we'll see how our class fits into all of that. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, you guys will be working with Miss Maggie. Who here worked with Miss Lee last year? Most of you. Okay, great. So yeah, I think you guys will switch over to Miss Maggie this year. Uh, and then to kind of wrap up the last half hour we can decide if we want to have homework time like so free work time whether that's working on an assignment or on homework or if you guys want to do other activities that I can do we'll have like a free half hour um, that we can kind of play with so and if it's really nice day outside maybe we could do PE and go outdoors and run around. Um, how many of you guys are pre qualified or pre signed up for PE this year? One, two, three. Okay, so a little under half of you guys. Okay, so basically what that means is that for the last half hour, you guys are required to do something physically active. Um, but you have to, I'll have to be marking them with me. You guys are required to do that. Um, you would want to speak to your counselors that you met during orientation uh, about what that means for you um, and what they would like, and then they'll send me that information. But they need your confirmation because you can't get out of it if you need to for any medical purposes. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, really quick, let's go over the rules that I have for all of you guys here so number one rule be respectful to each other and to me and to yourselves do unto others as you wish to be done to you so if you hit this person that means that you want them to hit you treat everybody's stuff and your own and mine with respect as well don't mistreat someone else's desk or take their stuff without permission or at least without asking if they should say no, then that is it. There is a no. I do not tolerate bullying, harassment, or any forms of it. If there is a report that you were doing it from a student, there will be consequences. And trust me, you don't want that. I do expect you guys to turn in all homework assignments and in class work. I do expect you guys to try your absolute hardest and ask questions as they come. 
because I am not afraid to reiterate something or to re-explain something a different way. Do not be afraid to come up to me at any given time throughout the school year if anything should be brought up or needs to be brought up. I can 100% be here. I will be here after school. You guys get out at 3 o'clock. I will be here until about 4.35. So if you ever need anything after school, I am right here in this room. So you have no need, no reason to not understand something in my class. Is there any questions? Yes. Great question. What is my rules on bathroom passes? That is an important thing. Bathrooms. Thank you. I almost forgot. So I will be handing you guys um, a slip of paper with an apple on it. I want you guys to write your name on that piece of paper. What you're going to do if you need to use the restroom is you're going to hold the paper up in the air so I can see it. Once I either come to you or I have you come to me, I will put a little check mark on that apple. I will then keep that piece of paper, you will go to the restroom, okay, and then when you return, I'll give you back your piece of paper. There is no limitations how many times you can raise it up during the day or the time period in between. We all have our days and we all have our moments, okay? The only thing is, and the only reason why I'm having myself keep them is so that I know who's out of the room. So that I can then control what's going on. Because if I start seeing six and seven girls leaving at one time, I'm going to be suspicious that you're meeting up to do something other than use the restroom. So. This will just bring me aware of who is in and out without having to, you know, have too many of you guys out. I don't believe in the rule that you were just at lunch so you shouldn't have to go to the bathroom. I think that is the worst teacher rule that has ever been done. That is stupid. You never know when you're going to have to go and I do not expect you guys to hold it for too very long. The only time I can see myself really asking you to put a pause would be like right in the middle of a lecture and it's going to be important to the homework. I might say after I'm done speaking, bring up, bring it up to me and well, you can go. But even, but even then I'm pretty chill on it. Um, I don't, I want to have you take anything to the bathroom with you, but, but this is a privilege compared to most teachers and on this campus. If any of you abuse that ability to not have to carry something, I will make you have to carry something. And I will individualize it. Let's say Patrick abuses this ability and doesn't come back to class. He will have to start carrying something around with him. So that he will want to bring it back to class. But the rest of you will continue that privilege. Because I know that I could be very mean about this, but I choose not to. So, do not, please do not abuse this, this opportunity. Any other questions? Perfect. Okay. So some of the things that actually should be sitting on your desks when you walked in is this workbook this is the wildflowers workbook we'll be using this during free times during class time just we'll be using this a lot in class each of you should have one this is a wonderful wonderful way of working through some amazing little fun interactive projects Without taking up too much time, this would be a great way for you guys to show and share and get to know the classmates around you. I have done a handful of these already myself, just for examples when we start really digging in to these questions. Um, there is a little bit of an introduction from the author who made this book, talking about what inspired them. If you would like to read that you can um, but it's not too crucial to the story or to the book so I don't feel the need to but if you would like to please feel free 
um, right here where it says this below this book belongs to be f feel free to write your name on it as we will be going through this entire book and none of us are going to be erasing that much so you can put this because I feel like you're at the end of this year you can look at what you've done and you can show your parents so I think this book is absolutely beautiful. Oh, speaking of parents, maybe remember, don't forget that tonight and tomorrow night is parent teacher night. So you, I get a chance to meet your parents and they kind of get to see where you're working and then I will also announce when parent teacher conferences are happening uh, usually they're around the end of the first semester I will want to meet your parents maybe we may even do it uh, quarterly the school really hasn't decided yet um, how they want to address it this year because last year it was a little weird but parent teacher conferences will be announced um, but tonight and tomorrow or meeting nights for your parents to meet me kind of get a rundown of where you're gonna be working so if you want to come in please feel free anyways another thing that should have been sitting on your desk when you walked in was our English book for now this is the call of the wild by Jack London this is a classic beautiful book that we'll be reading, writing papers on, and annotating. Don't worry, we'll get more into what that means later. This is a very, very beautiful book. And I cannot wait to see the papers, essays, notes, and opinions on this book. So, during English, this is what we'll be doing. Of course, I'll have you guys do different things as we're reading. But I, I remember reading this book when I was about your guys' age. It is a beautiful, beautiful book. Has, does anybody actually, has anybody actually ever read this before? None of you. Okay, so this would be all your first times. Amazing. If you've had read this before, then I would say, well, you get to read it again. <laughs> or, you know, maybe this, these assignments would be a little bit easier for you, but if you haven't, then that makes this a fresh read. So, and as you can look, if you look through the pages, you'll see that these these uh, words, they're not too intense, and there is some really pretty pictures within it, so I think I don't think a lot of you will enjoy it. Also, something I recommend having for math is a calculator on hand. I know that there was a, a email sent out to parents of all the supplies they will need for side class, but I know that calculators tend to get overlooked a lot. So, just by a show of hands, how many of you guys were actually actually able to pick up a calculator or bring a calculator? Okay, most of you. Let me see a few of you without your hands up. Do not worry, I do have extras. Um, and how you know it's a teacher calculator, not your own, is by the little the little guy sitting up here. So will be no need to worry about that. Okay. So all of that said. I want you guys to work on an assignment. So what I want you guys to do is I want to get, get you guys to pull out a piece of paper or a notebook and I want you guys to write me two paragraphs of what you did this summer.
didn't take that much this summer. Well, can you at least give me a paragraph? I'll try. I'm good. Guys, if you do not do enough for full two paragraphs, at least try to give me a paragraph. Remember, a paragraph is six full sentences. Okay, who here has already completed with their two paragraphs? Alright, if you are completed the paragraphs, please come over and put them on the table behind me. Yes, these will be graded. Um, I just want to be able to see um, your grammar and spelling and writing skills um, and forming the paragraph. Just to kind of see where everyone is. So I will be greeting these, um, but it won't be too much that will matter. This is more for me than for you guys. Um, but I will put a grade to it. Uh, just so you guys know kind of where you're sitting. Okay, who needs more time? Just three of you? Also, don't forget to put your name and date on it. If you don't put your name on it, I will not come and find you and you will get an automatic F. That is my rule. So if you do, if you happen to not put your name on it, come back and get the piece of paper and put your name on it. finished perfect okay well if you guys would like to stand up and form a nice neat little line by the door we're gonna be heading over to the library to pick up our math textbooks our science textbooks and our history textbooks so.